move to the education topic that we just introduced here and, uh -huh. and, and talk a little bit about um, changing priorities in terms of higher education <coughs> and, and where that might lead us. Um, Senator, any thoughts on that? Well, I like our conversation we were having about apprenticeships. Mm -hmm. And I actually, my Rotary Club just had a presentation by a woman from the German Council, mm -hmm. the, the um, German Society mm -hmm. here in, uh, in St. Paul. And uh, I talked about the German apprenticeship program. And she's been going around and talking to chambers and talking to cities and talking to schools mm -hmm. and colleges about how they could implement that. And you have partnerships with businesses. And what they do in Germany is they actually, they hire paid interns. So they actually are paid while they were learning uh, the skill. And then oftentimes after their internship, then they hire them. And so, uh, and these might be young people who decide to do this when they're still, you know, 16, 17, 18 years, 18 years old. So it might be a way. We have people who are under underemployed. Mm -hmm. um, they, for sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. And but you give them some <coughs> assistance. You give them some mentors, and you give them some hope for the future. And we also have an issue with uh, people coming out of prison. Is it's very hard for them to get jobs, even if it's totally unrelated to what their crime was. And that could be another um, place where you give people a second chance. You know, they, they did the crime, they did their time, and now they deserve a second chance to kind of pull their life together. Yeah. I had, we had that uh, second chance coalition. I met with some of the guys and, and women, um, and they talked about how hard it is to get housing and jobs. And you can just be thrown back into criminal life if we in civilian society don't help them stay on the right path. So very important in education, just to speak a little bit about that. I think that uh, we have uh, not done uh, justice to our youth, to our kids, and been pushing this narrative for the last 30 some years of college, four year college, four year college. Mm -hmm. And now we have a deficit of good trades workers. And uh, we hear that all the time, that there's not enough people to mm -hmm. for heating, air conditioning, and plumbing, And it's not like they don't need to know how to write and read and do math and computers and all those things. They need all those the, skills. The skill, Absolutely. The skilled yeah. trades have changed tr right. tremendously. You're going in. these. Kids today would be really good uh, mm -hmm. heavy equipment operators because everything's a joystick. Yeah. Right. You know, I've been up to the 49ers uh, training facility up in Hinkley, and we had the younger uh, assistants in that with us from the Capitol. I couldn't operate the darn things, but they got right in there, and they went right at right. it, and they were having a blast. Well, let me and share a little story about my son, Jacob, who's uh, <coughs> 20 years old. He was going to South Dakota State last year. Of course, I was very proud that he was a jackrabbit and going to a four-year <laughs> university. I, myself, I went to a trade school, have a two-year uh, degree, and went on to get my master's in photography. So when he uh, came home last summer and decided he didn't want to continue on with college and go further in debt, which his mother and I were paying half of it, he decided to look into heating, air conditioning, and plumbing. Mm -hmm and uh, contacted a good friend of ours who's a plumber and heating and air conditioning, Ben Shear Plumbing in Delano, and got an apprenticeship with him. Mm -hmm. So now is not only does he have money in the bank, probably more than his mother and I, mm -hmm. he's uh, been approved by his first house at 20 years old and is making a lot of good, good money, mm -hmm. learning a trade that he will yep. probably uh, will forever be uh, very employed mm -hmm. and making good money and someday his mm -hmm. own business, and uh, doing very well, paying off his student debt from his first mm -hmm. year, and happy as ever. He's just mm -hmm. thrilled to death that he's learning this great trade, knowing that he will have good work and have financial freedom in our country. Financial freedom to hunt and fish like he likes to do, to buy a house, to raise his kids, <laughs> save for college if he wants. So the trades uh, are not a, a, a dirty job anymore. Mm -hmm. They used to be a rough, they are right. good jobs. Our manufacturers need good workers, and they're offering good benefits and good pay and a good steady job, good home life to have that financial freedom, mm -hmm. but we need to get into our education. We need to get into the kids in elementary schools mm -hmm. and teach them about the trades yep. and how to work with their hands and create things, mm -hmm. not just push this narrative. And there are a lot of kids who don't do well sitting in a classroom just listening to lectures. No. You know, and they're much better if they are hands-on learners. I have Absolutely. a nephew that, mm -hmm. that type. He's smart as can be. He's mm -hmm. really, really smart, but he does not like sitting in a chair. Right. So he went and he liked to weld and do that, mm -hmm. and so he went and got his welding certifications and just what the representative mm -hmm. here said, having a great life. He's making a great living at it, mm -hmm. and the stuff he builds, it, it's artwork. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just incredible. The kitchen table that he built for the family, it's just like, wow. He did woodworking. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. There's a combination of, of, of the welding and, the, mm -hmm. and that with the uh, woodworking, 
and it's just it's phenomenal. It's mm -hmm. just uh, you know I wish I had the ability to do that stuff. But yeah, you have I to do some to represent <laughs> Swazinski. He's a welder. Of course. <laughs> all, all I'll say about that is my uh, seventh grade shop teacher suggested I find something else to do. So, <laughs> Mine so did you too. went to law school. <laughs> That's right. I went to law school. Yeah. Exactly. Mine did too. I move words around. That's what we do here. All right.